In this lesson, we are going to create a print button for our form. To begin, we're going to scroll up to the right hand side and under task, we are going to click on add new field. We're going to scroll down to button and click on button. And now you can see we have our button form field. We're going to go ahead and move it into place using our guidelines. And once it's placed where we want it, we're going to left click our mouse and place the button. To go ahead and stretch it to our button form here, we're going to grab the right hand corner. And as you can see, we have the double arrows and we're going to stretch our button into place. Now we're going to right click on our button and left click on properties. And this is going to bring up our property dialog box. Now we can change our button name to print and now we can add our tooltip. We want to go to the appearance tab and we're going to change our font size to 14 and we're going to leave the Havetica bold. We're going to click on our option tab. With the layout, we can determine what the button is going to look like. We can have it as a label only, an icon only, or even a label over our icon. But for, for our lesson, we're going to go ahead and leave it at label only. For the behavior, you can have none. Push, it'll look like you pushed a button. This will outline your button and this will invert it. It will go from light to dark when it's pushed and we'll go ahead and leave it at invert. The button label. This is what's printed on top of our button. So we're going to put print. Now we're going to click on our actions tab. Here we can change our trigger. We can have it as a mouse up down or mouse enter, but we're going to leave ours at mouse up. We're going to execute a menu item and click add. And then our menu item dialog box will appear. You want to scroll down to file print and click on that to highlight it and click OK. Now you see that we have our action item. We'll go ahead and close. And let's preview our button. Now when I click print, you will see that our print dialog box appears.